she was the most controversial TV actress of the 70s. They weren't buying the show, and why? They said, we don't need that ballsy broad on our stations. They deliberately did not let me see some of the hate mail. But before B. Arthur was making waves in TV, she lived for the theater. Her classmates at the actor's studio included Marlon Brando and James Dean. James Dean told me it was terrible. I've lived a long time. Oh, my God. And I've done some terrible scenes. Two decades on Broadway and a Tony Award later, B. Arthur left the stage behind to become one of the funniest women in series television. She is so damn funny. If I didn't have an audience, I don't think I could function. B. Arthur was born Bernice Frankel in New York City on May 13, 1923. Bernice and her younger sister Kay were raised in Cambridge, Maryland. The Frankel family didn't fit into the predominantly non-Jewish neighborhood, but young Bernes found a way to be noticed for something other than her heritage with her distinctive voice. I was 12. There was a fashion show in town, and my parents uh, owned a uh, ladies' dress shop, and I performed. I sang. It was the, the time of the big band singers, and I remember I sang, Are You From Dixie? And uh, I'm putting all my eggs in one basket. 